Good morning. This is Pastor Tom Adams of the Good News Bible Church. There are many cults that deny the Trinity, but there are numerous verses in the Bible that assures us that our God is a triune God. One such verse is found in Matthew 28:19, where Jesus said, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. In John 16, verses 6 through 7, it tells of how the followers of Jesus were sad when he told them that he would leave them and return to the Father. And he added, It is expedient for you that I do go away. For if I don't go away, the Comforter will not come unto you. Jesus is speaking here of the Father, of himself, and of the Holy Spirit. In Genesis 1.26, God said, Let us make man in our image. This is not speaking of man's physical image only, but it's saying that just as God is a triune God, it is also saying that just as God is a triune God, man also has a spirit, soul, and body. There is sometimes a lot of confusion regarding what the meaning of each one of these three is or does, but we know that they are part of man's makeup. In 1 Thessalonians 5.23, the Apostle Paul prayed for those in Thessalonica that God would preserve their spirit, soul, and body. By studying God's Word, we see that the Spirit is the seed of man's intelligence. In 1 Corinthians 2.11, it's written, For what man knoweth the things of man, save the spirit of man, which is in him, even though the things of God knoweth no man, but the Spirit of God. Verse 12 goes on to say that the believer has been given things of God. Also in verse 14, it says that a non-believer cannot know the things of the Spirit of God because they have not been indwelt by the Holy Spirit. The soul is the seat of our emotions and appetites. Dr. Max Schantz was once asked if animals have a soul and spirit like humans do. His answer was animals have a soul but not a spirit. Upon death, the soul of an animal ceases to exist along with its body. But the spirit of man lives forever. If we trust in the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ to have paid for our sin, we live forever with him. Our body may be decayed, but our spirit will never die. And we will receive a new body, one that is completely perfect and one that is not subject to death. One group who call themselves Unitarians say that we who believe in the Holy Trinity are polygamists. But they don't understand that we believe in one God who has three personalities. Jesus said in John 10.30 that he and the Father are one and they are in complete agreement. The Trinity may be difficult to understand for some, but the Bible tells of the reality of it and to deny the existence of it is wrong. There's a cult that many believe have much Bible knowledge, but they say that no man has a soul. I don't think they know what the soul is. Just as the spirit is the seed of our intelligence, the soul is the seed of our emotions and appetites. One of the cult leaders said that the devil started the teaching of the Trinity, but that idea is ridiculous. Satan would be defeating his own cause, because God the Father sent God the Son, Jesus, to pay for the sins of mankind, which is truly love, and the Holy Spirit has sealed us. Again, this is all by the great love of the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Satan, on on the other hand, has no concept of love. He delights in deceiving people so they will spend eternity in hell. And in speaking of cults, I have never found one that believes in salvation by grace plus nothing, which, by the way, is the only way anyone can be saved. Ephesians 2, 8, 9 makes it very clear. For by grace are you saved through faith and not of ourselves. It is a gift of God not of works, lest any man should boast. Works of any kind as a requirement for salvation is an accursed message. As the Apostle Paul said in Galatians 1.8, But though we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel unto you that ye have received, let him be accursed. Throughout the New Testament, the Apostle Paul said salvation is by grace through faith. Romans 3.22 tells us that the righteousness we need in order to be saved is given to us when we trust in Jesus Christ. This has been Pastor Tom Adams. I'd like to invite you to our services Sunday at 9 a.m. and Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Until next time, may the grace and love of God become more real to you each and every day. Goodbye for now and thank you for listening.